Hey guys, a uh, quick review of this drone that I got from Banggood. It's the XJB75. Um, it, I got this probably a month and a half ago, and uh, my initial impression of it was not good at all. Um, it had a lot of issues out of the box, um, but I was able to, to mess with it and finally get it to where now it actually is very fun to fly and very fast because it runs on 3S. Um, you can do 2S as well, but with 3S, this thing gets up and I mean, it really goes fast um, and it handles pretty well too. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to walk you through the features on this um, and where I ran into issues. Um, so we'll just start from front to back. Um, so we'll start with the frame. The frame is probably the biggest complaint um, that I've had about this so far. Um, basically, any moderate crash, you're going to crack this frame. Um, I cracked it here, here, um, here, uh, underneath on this, this piece that goes over. Uh, several other places um, I was able to repair it not great um, I used uh, JB weld clear weld I got it from like Home Depot it's the one where you squeeze out the epoxy and then the the other mixed stuff and you have to mix it together and brush it on um, but it you know once I got that on there I mean it it's, holds it pretty good I mean if you have another major crash it's probably gonna re-break it but um, <clears throat> so that's the frame um, the screws on the frame uh, are very short down into these standoffs. Uh, so I put some longer screws on and the screws I actually used were leftover screws from a pack of props. Uh, Cause they're longer, they fit, but they're longer and they go down in these standoffs farther and give it some more stability and get rid of some of the vibration. Um, the next thing I did was uh, put some uh, double-sided foam tape right under here, under the camera, and then put this camera back on. Uh, you, you, you'll want to make sure that these bolts here that go into the camera that's holding this camera housing onto this top frame that you tighten those down really good and put a little drop of Loctite on the bottom uh, because I had one of those fall off the camera was all flopping around um, and so, and this one was loose this one was about to fall off so I had to buy a new, new, new screw there and it's very hard to get in there um, and mess with all that and get it really good and tight uh, just because of where the screw head is and where that is underneath. Um, the next issue I had was the props. The props from a flyability perspective um, ruined everything. So the, the stock props that came on it were those like, if you look at the photos, are those clear purple candy props or I think they're DYS 2030s. And I basically could not fly it with those. Um, anytime I'd fly it with those, I would get horrible jello in the video, so bad that I couldn't I couldn't see what I was doing. I'd run into stuff. Some of those crashes were actually because of that, um, because I couldn't see where I was going at a certain point and busted the prop. Um, so I put these Aurora props on, and this thing flies smooth. Like you get no jello in the camera, anything. Um, the next thing that I want to go over and really cover is if you can see here the usb port is is right there the issue is even with the jello the the uh, dys props the props line up perfect with that usb port so a word of warning if you buy this you're going to want to pull this all apart and get down to there and get you some trimmer tools and try to trim some of the metal off of that usb port because i busted several props from I guess when the prop motor torques and this frame moves up just enough like that, the prop would hit that USB port and bend the metal on the USB port as well as break the prop. Um, and that happened to me several times. But once I trim that back, it's far enough away now to where I won't do that. But I, I have seen people that said that they broke their USB port off of the board. Um, luckily, I did not have that happen, but... Um, I would definitely trim that before you fly it. Um, the motors on this are really good motors. Um, I think they're 7,500 kV. Um, yeah, they're 1104 7,500 kV motors. Uh, it has a, a LED, a beeper. Um, the 
camera is actually a really good camera. You get a pretty good picture out of it. Uh, the, however, the antenna that was on it was not very good. Um, I don't know if, if I just got a bad one or what, or if something hit in between here a couple of times or through the side, but the antenna eventually got to where it was so loose and broken. Uh, it broke on the clover leaf up here and then it kind of was really loose on the, uh, where it attaches to the VTX. Um, so I just pulled it off and put this, this little whip antenna on from a rubber ducky. The next issue was where this the receiver was mounted. So if you buy this out of the box, um, the, I got the FR Sky version. Um, the receiver they put back here just like this and it's zip tied down with a little bit of double tape. But the antenna comes out about this far. Um, I would recommend that you take that antenna and run it out one of, he, one of these and zip tie it down because I left mine hanging. And within about three or four flights, um, I noticed I wouldn't get any range, like it would just drop out of the sky. I brought it over, was looking at it, and I noticed the antenna was gone. Um, so I don't know if it got caught up in one of these props and the props chopped it off or what. But um, anyways, that's how I have this. I, I got this new one, this FR Sky 16-channel uh, ultra, like ultra mini receiver, and I just put that on there and zip-tied that down. Um, so all in all, I... I I think if you're looking for something right out of the box, put it on the ground and have no issues with, you don't want this. Um, if you're willing to make some changes to this um, and work on it some, then I think you can get an actually really good flyer out of this. Um, I'm going to show some flight video uh, after this. Um, and this thing really gets up and goes. It's got a lot of uh, punch. Uh, I, will, I will say, though, this I'm flying this in acro mode only. Uh, I know a lot of guys um, have complained about this not flying very good at all in angle mode, that it that it kind of takes a mind of its own and starts to pitch forward really bad, even after a lot of software adjustments uh, doesn't fix it. So I don't know if there's some issue with the flight controller um, or what, but it does fly well in acro mode. Um, and yeah, that's it. Oh, well, one last thing. So... The battery uh, comes with this little strap, this little vel tiny little Velcro strap that comes out of here. I pulled that out, threw it in the trash um, after a couple of flights. It was useless. The batteries fell out. Um, it does have this little Velcro piece here uh, built into the bottom of the frame. And I did, I did go ahead and attach little chunks of Velcro to my 3S batteries that I'm using for this. And it helps hold it on there. And then I just kind of put a tight rubber band all the way around the, the frame here and just... Uh, pop it on and that seems to work fine. I mean if, if you have a big crash you're gonna lose the battery regardless, but um, Yeah, that so that seems to work. Uh, let me think if there was anything else. I think that was it um, So yeah, let me uh, I'll show the settings that I have in beta flight for this and then I'll show a quick flight video. Thanks